Imposter syndrome, particularly in a workplace setting, refers to the internal experience of believing that you are not as competent as others perceive you to be. It's like having a persistent fear of being exposed as a fraud, despite evident success and qualifications. This phenomenon is quite common among executives and sales professionals, impacting them in unique ways. For executives, imposter syndrome can be particularly isolating. These individuals often feel they must always display a high level of competence and leadership. The fear of being perceived as inadequate can lead them to overwork, resulting in burnout, decreased job satisfaction and potentially hindered decision-making capabilities. High levels of stress will just jam up our decision-making abilities, executive functions. This constant pressure can make it challenging for them to delegate tasks effectively as they might feel the need to control every aspect to ensure nothing goes wrong. A 2024 study revealed that 71% of US CEOs experience symptoms of imposter syndrome, demonstrating its prevalence even among the highest levels of leadership. Additionally, research indicates that high-achieving employees from marginalized groups and also women in general are particularly vulnerable to these feelings which can impair well-being and inhibit performance. It can create a self-fulfilling prophecy. Imposter syndrome in sales professionals. In the case of sales professionals, imposter syndrome often manifests as doubts about their sales skills or the value they bring to their clients and company. They might fear that one unsuccessful pitch or a dip in their sales numbers will reveal them as inadequate. This can lead to significant anxiety and stress, affecting their performance and making them hesitant to take risks or pursue bigger deals necessary for personal and company growth. This year's surge in inquiries about imposter syndrome, which increased by 75%, highlights the growing concern among employees across various industries, particularly in creative arts and design, where 87% reported feeling this way.